What's up guys, it's Keith and I'm gonna teach you how to identify those songs you're hearing at festivals. Now does this scenario ring a bell? You're back from the festival, you're thinking of your favorite sets, you're just like damn, Dylan Francis really killed it that night. And that song, like 15 minutes in, that drop when he transitioned right after Candy, it was just, I don't know what song it was. Does anyone know? You're asking your friends, you're asking people that you really don't know if they were at that set, if they know this song, and you're just wondering like, damn, I wanna know that song. I know it's a good drop, I'll probably hear it again soon, but I really just wanna know it. So, if you've ever been in that position, trust me, I understand. I thought like that for the longest time until my best friend Jay told me about this website. It is called 1001tracklist.com. That's 1001tracklist.com. If you don't remember, don't worry. After this video, just scroll down. It's gonna be there because, I don't know, I, I would forget too. But 1001tracklist.com, it is a great website. Not only does it have live sets you can listen to because it's connected to SoundCloud, Spotify, YouTube, and a bunch of other streaming websites, it's connected to that. But it doesn't just let you play the songs. There's actually a list below it with all the song titles. Of course, there's some unreleased music that people can identify, like Eric Prids, he'll play a set with 12 songs and eight of them just say Eric Prids ID because it's unreleased and those are special songs that you only hear at music festivals. But for the most part, if you heard a song at a festival and you're looking for it, go to 1001tracklist.com. I don't work for them. I know I've said it a bunch of times. I just want people to know about this website because this website has helped me find different artists. I look at the track list and I look at the song and I'm like, yeah, I really like this song. Like what's this, Sudden Death? That's the name of the artist. Let me check them out on Spotify. Every single song, I enjoy it. Meaning, I'm discovering new artists because doing a little research, you know? When you do research about music you enjoyed, guess what? Your festival experience is gonna get way better. Because when you know more artists, when you see the lineup, you're gonna be like, wow, there's actually a lot of people here because I know them now. When I first started going to festival, I knew like four artists. I was like, there's Dead Mouse, there's Skrillex. I heard of this guy Diplo. And everyone else, I was just like, I don't know shit, but when my friend told me, dude, just do a little research, you're gonna find more artists, you're gonna find the sound you really like, then you can really, really, really appreciate the music you enjoy. You can skip certain artists because you know other artists are there. You're gonna look back at old festivals that you went to and you're gonna be like, damn, how'd I miss all these people? I was, where was I? I was getting water for 45 minutes and I missed Joyride. But yeah, I know you're gonna go through this because guess what? That's what I went through. I went through it. I hope none of you have to go through it as long as I did. And I just really want your festival experience to be the best ever. And by finding music that you truly, truly, truly enjoy, this will allow you to enjoy music festivals even more. Because you know it's not just about the music, it's about going with your friends, meeting new people, realizing strangers can be really nice, and overall, just experiencing a great experience. So, say it one more time, 1001tracklists.com, find the sets you really enjoyed, scroll down a little, just listen to the set, you know you wanna hear it again. When you find that song and then you notice it's not the artist that was playing, you're gonna find new artists, you're gonna realize, okay, this is the music I enjoy, and even though I'm listening to it in my room, I know that when I listen to it live, it's way better and I enjoy it more. And guess what? Your ears are gonna change. The first time I listened to Porter Robinson's Worlds, I was not impressed at all. I even texted my friend saying like, hey, this is all right. Like, he was like, no, dude, Hard Summer is gonna be so good. I can't believe he's there. Live set, it's gonna be insane. And I was just like, yeah, cool. Porter Robinson, whatever. Now that dude is my favorite artist, I can't wait to see him live in June in Oakland. Anytime I see his name, even if it's virtual self, I make an effort to go to the shows. And to think that when I first heard this album, I really didn't like it. It was cool. I was like, oh, Polygon Dust has that little video game sound thing. But when I heard it live, that's when I realized, whoa, this stuff is different. This music, I can't even explain why it's so good, but it's just so good so i hope this video helps i hope that you are on 1001tracklist.com after edc day one and you're just like damn i found so many new songs and guess what what if those artists are actually on the edc lineup go check them out and be like whoa i wasn't gonna do this i'm so glad i did some research i'm keith 
I will be here helping you as long as I can. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.